So, Louise, what do you do? I spend most of my time on the golf course, to be honest. Just golf? Are you obsessed? Uh, no, obsessed? I enjoy bird watching as well. So, um, some courses, you'd be surprised you can merge the two together. <laughs> anyway, it's great to have you. Let's have a look at your board. OK. Princess, Duchess, Baron, Emperor, King, Queen. These are titles I put down on a mortgage application, <laughs> I should tell you. <laughs> but what we're looking for is... Species of penguin. Ooh. Two of these are correct. You're a bird watcher, you should get this. Yeah, but yeah, you'd get many penguins on golf courses. <laughs> <in life. laughs> Do you have any uh, hobbies? Yeah, I pole dance or pole fitness or pole exercise, whatever you prefer to call it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what does that entail exactly? A pole and some dancing. <laughs> <laughs> some climbing up and getting down again and... <laughs> You're saying leave it to your imagination. Yeah. Yeah, it depends that. on <laughs> what part of the house I'm in. That's great. <laughs> um, my biggest hobby is uh, I'm an Elvis tribute artist. So I've got the, got the jumpsuit, do all the songs. Um, it's a great way to like try and flirt with girls and stuff. Like, what's your favourite Elvis song? And then, and then any song they want to hear, I'll do it for them. So. <laughs> a little less conversation, a little more action, please. All this aggravation, satisfaction in me. Wow, that's very good. Thank you very much. Agatha Christie detectives. And yet the villain who stole the Mars bar from my dressing room is still at large. <laughs> <laughs> and they're in this room. You know who you are! <laughs> Ingredients in a mojito. Oh, you see, this is my kind of bard. <laughs> Anything yeah. that involves alcohol. Um, Do you serve many mojitos in your soft place centre? <laughs> Not as a rule, but I tend to have quite a lot when I've finished work. <laughs> <laughs> I was brought up on a farm in Devon. Oh, wow. That must have been exciting. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I got a pig called Harry Mary, and my sister had a pig called Penelope, and then a few months later, my dad said, Kate, they're too big, one of them's got to go. A few weeks later, we had Sunday roast and we had pork. Oh, my God. Yeah. You ate your present. I didn't, personally, but I have eaten quite a few of my pets here over the years. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me never to ask you to cat sit for me. <laughs> Do you have got any hobbies? There is one festival I work at locally every year where we run a store called I'm a Celeriac, Get Me Out of Here. <laughs> um, basically, it's a fruit and veg themed stall, and we have loads of different games. So there's Celeriac tossing, there's blueberry toboggan where you roll a blueberry down a tape measure, not the most hygienic, <laughs> into your partner's mouth. So the current, the current record is 20 metres. Wow. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> I'm a Celeriac, Get Me Out of Here. Okay. Um, I've just heard that the ITV lawyers would like to speak to you. <laughs> that's a fair enough, so. We'll have to pay him in veg. <laughs> Artists from the USA. Two of these are correct. Um, I don't know if he's English or American, though, but I'm going to go with Andy Warhol. Is he an artist from the USA? He is. Well done. OK, one more to go, Lee. Um, I believe Dali is um, South American. Picasso, I think, is Italian. Van Gogh, either French or Italian. Constable, English, which leaves Jackson Pollock. Is Jackson Pollock the right answer? <laughs> well done! <laughs> Nicknamed Jack the Tripper. I can tell you your logic was completely off with the, uh, Pablo Picasso. <laughs> <and> <laughs> I thought I would have made a fool out of myself there, but it, it, <laughs> it panned out in the end. It panned <laughs> out. Your logic actually worked in the end. We have uh, Cardinal Richelieu, D'Artagnan, <laughs> Inspector Javert, Madame Defarge, Fantine, Jean Passepartout. It is, I'm doing it in a French accent. That was a French accent. <laughs> <laughs> Which Dickens novel features the character The Artful Dodger? Pierrette. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I know it, it's all of a twist. What do you think the answer was? I think it's... It's Oliver Twist. It is. Yeah, that's the right answer, but you just took so long to come out with it. <laughs> I can't take a blank stare as an answer. <laughs> <laughs>